Welcome to Huis van Hout. We have a wooden house in a triangular shape and it produces its own water and it's super smart in energy usage. And on top of that, it teaches us how to live in harmony with the sun. Welcome to our house, coming <laughs> in. Well, I always wanted to build a modern architectural house. That was the starting point. Another starting point was to make the house as healthy as possible. We made a wooden outside structure and afterwards we filled that structure with recycled paper insulation. That is uh, very ecological because it's just recycled materials. And then uh, as an extra, we also used uh, flux, uh, which is materials used in textile world, but it's also a very good insulator. We've built an ecological house, uh, but the energy usage was enormous in the beginning. We decided to take it in our own hands and, and use domotics to control the techniques. Well, the domotics control the heat pump, but also ventilation system the LED lights and everything else in the house. Plus some comfort things like uh, showing the heat of the shower uh, by a small LED light. <laughs> Our main source of heating is actually this huge glass wall on the south. Uh, in the winter it takes in the sun directly and in the summer we use these blinds to block the sun from coming in. That's the main system. If there is no sun we also have the underfloor heater, uh, which uses a buffer, a kind of heat battery. And that heat battery is actually warmed up by uh, our heat pump or through the solar uh, heater on the roof. The heat pump knows through the domotics when there is sun and when there is overflow of energy and starts producing the energy, the, the heat at that moment, stores it in the buffer uh, which is a heat battery and at that moment it's only used when there is no sun anymore. The solar uh, heater you see on the roof is actually put in, a, uh, in the right angle to catch the sun uh, as good as possible in the winter because then the sun is low and the goal is to heat the buffer, the same buffer we use for the heat pump also uh, to heat the water as much as possible with that solar uh, water heater uh, because that's cheaper than the heat pump. So the electrician installed this system which consists of domotics and LED lights but I still noticed that it used a lot of energy. It was wasting uh, way too much energy. So I customized it and I installed these red things which are programmable switches and these programmable switches are uh, controllable by my own software. We love using circular materials. Our floor is made of wood but there is not a single tree that has been killed for it. It's all material from fairs of the company who sold it. Another circular use is the stairs. Uh, we had some leftover wood from the frame of the house, which was the first part that was here. And that we used for the stairs and also for some shelves. And finally, we also love buying design furniture that has been used before in offices. A friend of mine buys them and resells them. And our Eames chairs, our Barcelona chair is all second hand. I'm from Brazil. I'm from Sao Paulo, which is a big city with 20 million people. And then I moved to London. I lived seven and a half years in London, which is about 8 million people. And then I lived in Berlin, which is about 3 million people. And then I moved, when I met Bart, I moved to Antwerp, which is about 500,000 people. 
And then when the house was more or less ready, we moved here to Limburg in Herkdestadt, which is 12,000 people. So it was a huge change in my life. I was very skeptical at the beginning because I've always been a city girl. I've always lived in big cities with a lot of people, a lot of things going on. And then when we decided to move here, I was a bit like, oh, is it going to work? There's, uh, am I going to feel bored? There's nothing to do. I like to have my bakery three steps from my door. And <laughs> here things, you have to move around a bit to get things. But then when you open your window in a big city, you're surely, you, you're surely going to find another window in front of you or another concrete big building and noise, pollution and people shouting. And here, when I open my window, <laughs> this is what I see here, you know, so it's so much quality of life, like fresh air and the nature and a much bigger contact with nature and that was a huge change in my life and, that, and that's what I thought this is this is quality of living well even during the day we try to limit energy consumption this is especially important during the winter periods when there is no solar energy or less solar energy um, so what we do is we switch off uh, standby lights of television we switch off the printer and we even switch off the drivers of the LED lighting because the drivers use constant power and there is like 10 or 15 drivers in the house which makes easily two uh, bulbs of uh, old-fashioned uh, lamps uh, that you avoid this way so as much to save as much power as possible and even during the summer we need this extra power for for example, a car, an electric car, to, to charge that car. We measure everything in the house because measuring means power. So here you see the electricity usage of uh, one day of the house. Uh, here you see the electricity yield, what we produce, and here it's what we use. Um, the red part is what we buy from the electricity supplier and the, red, the green part is what we immediately use after producing. Um, you can see clearly that we try to limit any electricity uh, supply as long as the sun is down. And during the sun hours, we're going to create peaks here. Uh, it's the washing machine, it's cooking. As soon as the day starts and there is a lot of solar power, we start to make peaks and for the rest, when the sun is down, we stop using electricity or we try to limit our use. How do we do that? Basically by measuring everything. So these are my appliances. You have the cooker, you have our fridge, uh, the house pump, the server, um, the screen and the laptop um, and these things uh, stop using electricity. Everything that has a battery stops using electricity as soon as the sun goes down. So this is the general use and here are the appliances and the rooms, the lights. So you see our uh, water cooker, um, the pump, the fridge, the server, the screen. Well, I try not to do everything that I have to do at the same time, I mean, regarding energy consumption. So I check outside, see if the weather is really nice and the sun is really strong out there. So I try to do as much as possible, like the washing, the cooking, everything that I need to do. If the weather is not nice, then I think to myself, well, can this wait a couple of more days until the, the sun is shining? which is a bit rare in Belgium, but it's okay. <laughs> but I try to do that. So I try, try to check the weather first. If the weather is nice, do as, ma as many things as possible. If not, try to wait a bit more. So this is our plant filter. It uh, purifies the rainwater which comes from the roof of the house. The plants, the roots of the plants and the lava filters it. And afterwards it goes to two big tanks which contain each 10,000 liter. 
and from that point we use it in the house for showers but also to clean for everything basically. So when we decided to live here and build this house we didn't want to, to live super large so part of the house we dedicated uh, as an Airbnb as a luxury lodge to rent out or for friends to stay over and um, this uh, Airbnb will be uh, available as uh, Huis van Hout which means house of wood. Thank you for watching, hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Questions or remarks, post them in the comments down below. If you like our video, just click the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching.